Can you imagine what your life would be like without your iPhone? No, I mean, I've had a phone since I was in middle school. Back in those days, Hannah Schmitz was limited to sending 50 texts on her phone. Now as a hairstylist, she's using it for so much more. You can run everything through your phone and you can call whoever. I can send a text and someone will come get their hair done right away. Did you imagine 10 years ago that you'd be able to do all of that on your phone? No, I would have never thought, you know, just playing like a simple game of Snake on my phone was good back then. And now I can play whatever. I can check Facebook whenever and it's great. The iPhone put the internet in everyone's pocket and a camera too. Of the 1.2 trillion digital photos taken across the world this year, 85% will be done so on phones. And a few will be those Pam Wiegen took of her grandson. Would you ever have thought 10 years ago that you'd be using your phone no. as your camera? Never. Uh-uh. No, it's really great. The iPhone fostered in the launch of Apple's App Store, which now has more than 2 million apps, making your iPhone more than your phone, camera, and computer, but your map, flashlight, clock, and even your photo album. There's an app called Tiny Beans. Our kids take pictures of him all the time and then put them on tiny beans and then we can see them every day. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. It's safe to say the iPhone has changed everything, but experts say something even bigger is on the way. Apple glasses. Apple hasn't even confirmed it's working on them, but there's already speculation they'll be available within three years. Some people were a little apprehensive. Kind of freaks me out. <laughs> It's, I, I mean, there's something called too, being too connected. It's probably the way some people felt about the iPhone 10 years ago. For The Now, I'm Kumasi Aaron.